new tonight. We're hearing from the doctor who fixed a botched root canal for a woman. It is a story we first told you about last night. That woman had a root canal done by someone who is now accused of practicing dentistry without a license. Maria Aguilera has been on this story. She joins us live with the warning this dental surgeon is now sharing with us. Maria. Len Reka, the doctor I spoke with, tells me it was terrible to see just how much harm was done after that procedure. And he says that if the cost of dental work seems too good to be true, it probably is. It's heartbreaking. I mean, it just is hard to fathom. Dr. Fareed Noe has been practicing dentistry for nearly 30 years. The worst he's seen was recently a woman who went to see him after having a botched root canal. The symptoms she had just didn't seem right. That woman reported Angelica Vivas to police, and Vivas is now facing two felony counts of practicing dentistry without a license. Today, appearing in court, where prosecutors say they expect to hear from even more possible victims. People actually seek out places without doing their complete research simply because of the price. Dr. Noe says in recent years, there have been similar cases. He says some people may come from other countries where they were dentists, but here there are different regulations. Others, he says, may be dental assistants who take on their own patients. They watch it, they watch their dentists do the work, and they think, oh, I can do this. It's not a quick path to become a dentist. Dr. Timothy Kirkpatrick with UT Health Houston School of Dentistry says dental health is extremely important and that low cost options are available. Our motto at the dental school is improving oral health, improving overall health because the mouth is you know, the gateway to the body. And Dr. Noe says if you get a procedure done from someone without a license to save money, it could cost you your life. They have all of this licensing for a reason to protect public and uh, I really encourage public to do their homework. UT Health offers low cost clinics with dental students who are supervised by licensed professionals. And you can also head over to the Texas State Board of Dental Examiners to check if a dentist has an active license. In Houston, Maria Aguilera, KHOU 11 News. Some good information there, Maria. Thank you.